Hi, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3, and welcome to Second Chance Two, Second Chance Saturday. Now, today we're going to be painting this picture, picture, and we're using chalk paint. And this one is by Home Decor. It's called French Linen. Now I'm going to pour a little out on here. A little more than that. I'm using a stipple brush. The stipple brush is kind of short. A lot of bristles at the bottom. Well, they all have bristles at the bottom. Okay, so when I do this, I'm going to be mixing baking soda with this. Now, I usually do like a two to one. So if my paint is about two tablespoons, then I would use one tablespoon of baking soda. But right now, this is about one and a half. So I'm going to use about a half a tea tablespoon of baking soda and I'm going to mix it up. Now if it's too too dry then I will add a little paint to it. But I think that's that's a pretty good balance there. It's just going to look a little bumpy on your plate. Now let me bring you in so you can see just where I'm working. There we go. Now, using this technique, it's actually going to cover up the paint job on this pitcher. Now, the first thing you have to do is make sure that your pitcher is clean, and then you can start. And it's almost like you're, you're um, stenciling. You're just stippling it. If you want it smoother, you can paint it. So maybe we'll go ahead and paint the first coat. But the second coat, I want to stipple it. Because I want it to look old. And see, the first coat is going to totally cover up the uh, little um, decoration. So let's go ahead and paint it first. We got this for a dollar sixty some and then twenty percent off of that. Now if you go up this way, you don't have to worry about taping. You can get a pretty good straight line by doing it that way. When this is pretty dry, I'm going to go on the underside of the handle, but for now I just kind of wanted to do that. Now if you wanted this to have more of a cement look to it, you would just add more baking soda to your mixture. Then you would have half paint, half baking soda. But right now, we're going to let that dry. And then I will come back and do the second coat and finish it up. Okay, as you can see, this has actually two, three coats on it. I had a little bit of run in the paint, so I just went back and I sanded it out and then put another coat on top of it. But as you can see, we don't have any, any of the... Um, design that was on this container. Now I tried some of the antique wax on here. I, I'm i not sure that's the way I want to go with the rest of it, but for now I kind of wanted to just show you how to stamp it. Now this is the Stays On Solvent Ink stamp pad. These are great. And what you do is you just stamp your ink um, stamp. Put that on top of there. 
this stuff does exactly what it says, stays on. So, so now I'm going to try and find the center here of where I want this. So you actually hold, hold it in place on one side while you press down on the other side. Now I have some grids coming and the grids are nice, they're plastic grids because you mount this on the plastic grid and you can use the grid to show you where the stamp should go. So all I'm doing is pressing down. But check that out. Is that not adorable? I didn't paint the inside, the inside was fine. So I thought, okay, this is just cute just to put a little bouquet of flowers in there. We could have done the queen bee. We could have done the crown on top and the bee below it like I was showing you in the sample that we did on my last live on Wednesday. Um, but this, this is adorable. Now, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the antiquing to it. I kind of like it just the way it is. It has like this cement look to it and feel, and it stays on. So um, keep watching. There's going to be more projects like this coming. Um, we're going we're gonna to be doing a lot on Second Chance Saturday. And I go live Monday at 6.15. Eastern Standard Time and Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. So keep watching. Thank you and have a great day. <clears throat>